Okay, let's... I mean, there's sometimes there's an elephant in the room when it comes to this, and I'm just going to put it out there. I feel like the elephant in the room is those people that, you know, we all have different personalities and some people handle negative feedback very well Uh, and some people don't. And so let's just talk about the elephant in the room about that, because, you know, like sometimes people might just absolutely tear you apart and be like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen and it's awful. And, you know, you should go hide and and go away because you're not a good entrepreneur or whatever. So um, what's the balance of that? Because I know we need need negative feedback sometimes mm-hmm, to really tell mm-hmm. us tough love like this sucks like and i don't mean it in that way but like that's like the way we can put it here um so how do you kind of navigate and handle that because we know we need negative feedback from sometimes but people are kind of adverse to it yeah and that and that definitely happens i mean that obviously these are these are strangers who don't know you and we're paying them so they're going to be quite brutally honest mm-hmm. um and uh i guess a couple notes about that so if they're abusive like that's one thing. Like we we can actually flag them. You can you can flag them on our site, and mm-hmm. you know we'll take down really abusive posts or you know name calling or whatever. Like, yeah. like that. There's no there's no need for that. But um, and then we've also had customers who don't take it very well and actually ask you know <laughs> ask for a refund. It's like, hey, this was this was incorrect because like my thing lost. Or, you know, like their their yeah. feelings were hurt. <laughs> it's like no no no. I, it looks fine. It was quite objective, and you're your option loss. So, I mean, I, I, I think it's, it's a good lesson and it's probably better to do it here than with your money. Mm-hmm. Right. So you're going to learn this lesson somehow you're going to learn, you're going to either going to learn it with a, you know, a, a $50 poll on pick food, or you're going to learn it for a $10,000 of inventory that's sitting there, you know, which <laughs> one's going to hurt more. So, right. um, someone's going to tell you to your, you know, kind of tell it to your face, uh, so to speak on, on pick food in words, but, uh, at least you're going to understand why, um, you know, maybe your product is not going to sell later. So yeah, it's a little bit difficult. And we do, we do have some people who write in who are like kind of upset about the responses, but Mm -hmm. that's, that's the honest truth, as they say. (laughs) Yeah. Well, and I love, I love that you said that too, because that's the truth. The truth is, is that you're either going to pay for this with an upfront survey and really get the information you need, or you're going to have a garage full of failed products because you never asked anybody and you just, let's, let's be real. Everybody thinks that their our product, service, yes. business, marketing is like the best ever, right? My ideas are the best ever. And everyone yeah. else who doesn't agree with me, you know, whatever. But in reality, we've all had, I mean, at least most sellers I know have had failed products, had great ideas yeah. that like no one cared about. And you're like, okay, remember the Amazon Fire Phone? I mean, even Amazon <laughs> fails. Like no one remembers that because it was a fail, yeah. right? And they, they released it for like six months and then no one bought it. And it was like the worst phone in the world. And everyone's like, no, we want to buy books and groceries from Amazon, not phones. Yeah. Right? Leave that to, to Apple. Um, but seriously though, like that's that, that's a money saving thing. It's like a stitch in time saves nine, right? We need to do this upfront. And our feelings aren't part of product selection. If we're yes. just, we're in business and yeah, we're emotional and everyone has emotions and things like that. But at the same time, our feelings can't be heard about a product. You have to think, oh, these wonderful, honest people saved me 20 grand of investing in a product that no one cares about, or I need to refigure my marketing. But to those who get negative feedback, which I have plenty of times, um, the reality is you just need to learn from it and learn from it before it costs you a ton of money. You can actually ask your demographic and you might discover products that you didn't even think of that they're like, oh, what about this and that? I read Amazon reviews constantly on my competitor's Mm. products. Mm -hmm. That's how Mm -hmm. I come up with better solutions. I'm always reading all these comments from like my competitors and what they sell.